Baron's Amazing Videos proudly presents Snow White. Long ago, in a far off land, a princess was born with hair as black as night, skin as white as snow, and lips the color of rubies. She was called Snow White. As the princess grew, she became more beautiful every year. Her stepmother, the queen, was also very beautiful. The queen was no vain. She had a magical mirror made. Every day, she looked into the mirror and asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of us all? Then the mirror would answer, You, my queen, are fairest. And the queen was pleased. When Snow White grew to be a young maiden, the queen asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, Who's the fairest of us all? The mirror replied, You, my queen, may lovely be, but Snow White is fairer still than thee. The queen was very angry. She could not stand to have anyone be prettier than herself. She called the woodsman and ordered him to take Snow White away and kill her. The man, fearing for his own life, took the girl deep into the forest, but could not bring himself to carry out the order. Instead, he left Snow White there alone. Snow White had never been all by herself in the woods before. Around her, strange noises and scary shadows. She was so scared, she began to run. Three branches caught at her black hair as she ran through the forest. Snow White ran as fast as she could until she came to a little clearing among the trees. There she saw a small cottage with a red roof. Maybe someone here will be able to help me, sighed Snow White with relief. She knocked and knocked on the front door. When no one answered, Snow White went inside. There she found a tiny little table set with seven plates. Snow White was very angry after being in the woods, so she nibbled a few bites of food from each of the little plates. After her snack, Snow White found a little bedroom with seven tiny beds. Suddenly, Snow White realized she was very, very sleepy. I'll just take a little nap, she yawned. She crawled into a bed and was soon fast asleep. In this cottage live seven dwarfs. Soon after Snow White fell asleep, the dwarfs came back from work. They quickly discovered that someone was in their house. Soon the dwarf saw the beautiful young maiden in their bedroom. When Snow White awoke, she was happy to meet her seven new friends. She told them about the evil queen. The seven dwarfs felt sorry for Snow White and asked her to stay. She took her up the cottage and the dwarfs gave her food 
friendship, and shelter in return. Snow White was happy living with the dwarves. She came to love them all so much that she forgot about the evil queen who was so jealous of her beauty. The evil queen knew that Snow White had not perish in the woods and decided to kill the girl herself. The queen disguised herself as an ugly old woman and searched the woods for Snow White. One day the evil queen found the dwarf's cottage. She called out, Pretty belts for sale. Snow White opened the door to the ugly old woman. Snow White tried in one of the lovely belts. The queen pulled the belt so tight around the girl's waist that she fell down as if she were dead. The queen threw her off old woman's costume and shouted, I will always be the fairest of all. When the dwarves returned home that day, they found Snow White lying in their house. Poor Snow White, they cried. Right away they saw that the girl's belt was too tight and cut it off with a knife. She began to breathe again and told them what had happened. Dwarves realized that the old woman must have been the evil queen, and he told Snow White to be careful. Above all, said the oldest dwarf, you must never, never open the door for anyone. Meanwhile, the queen arrived at her castle and asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of us all? Then the mirror answered that Snow White was still the fairest. The queen bowed that Snow White must die. She set out for the dwarf's cottage in a new disguise. This time she went to the window of the cottage. The old woman offered to sell Snow White a lovely comb. Snow White took the comb through the window and put it in her hair. She sank to the ground right where she stood. The comb was present. It was long before the dwarves came home. They saw that once what happened and quickly removed the comb from Snow White's hair. Then the dwarves warned her again. Snow White, you must never, never open the door or the window for anyone, said the littlest dwarf. Back at the castle, the evil queen learned that the princess still lived. She was furious. I must be rid of Snow White forever, she cried. The queen used all her evil magic to make a poison apple. Then the queen thought of another disguise. She dressed herself as a poor woman selling fruit and went once more to see Snow White. This time Snow White was in the garden when the evil queen arrived. The dwarves had never said anything about talking to strangers outside. The queen offered the girl the apple, and it looked so delicious that Snow White could not resist it. Snow White bit into the fruit. She instantly fell down as a dead. When the queen returned to the castle, the mirror told her at last, Queen, thou art fairest of us all. The dwarfs could not wake Snow White, but she looked as healthy and pretty as if where she were comfortably sleeping. 
they laid her in a glass case so they could watch over her. One day, a prince was hunting in the woods. He came upon Snow White lying in the glass case and asked the dwarfs who she was. She is our dear Snow White, put to sleep by the spell of an evil queen, replied one dwarf sadly. The prince gazed into the glass case. This is the most beautiful princess I have ever seen, he said. Instantly the friends fell deeply in love. The prince opened the glass case. As he lifted her up, Snow White slowly opened her eyes and looked at the prince. When the dwarves learned that Snow White was alive, they danced with joy and happily agreed that she should marry the handsome prince. As for the queen, her hatred made her so ugly that she could not bear to look in her mirror. And so that's the end of our story entitled Snow White. This story was taken from the book, The Five Minute Fairy Tales, adapted by Jane Gerard, illustrated by Burgundy Nellis with permission from Phoenix International Publications Incorporated. Website www.bikidsmedia.com Snow White is one of the stories listed in this book, The Five Minute Fairy Tales. The story of Snow White will be passed to the next generation. This is one of the old fairy tales, something we should tell to our children as bedtime stories. Watch out for my next read aloud videos in my YouTube channel and in my Facebook page, Baron's Amazing Videos. Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and follow on my FB page. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and share this video. Thank you for watching.